What up, ladies and gentlemen? Let's learn some math, shall we? <laughs> okay, so our equation is y is less than negative x plus 2. And the two things they want us to find out, they want us to find out if the line is dashed or solid or, or and shading. Are we going to shade above or below the line? Okay? So the first part, the line part that's pretty easy as long as you know, you can use the math formula TBL. You know what TBL stands for? Tell by looking. <laughs> okay, so here's our, all we care about for the line part is this, right here, our greater than, less than symbol. Is this going to be a solid line or a dashed line? Dash. 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 Why? No, it's not. Because it's not equal to. Because there's not that little line right there. If it had a line, it would say, or equal to. Like we've said before, if it's greater than or if it's less than, it cannot be that number. I'm going to give you more than 50 bucks. Am I going to give you 50 bucks? No. I'm going to give you more than that. Spoiler alert, I'm actually going to give you guys less than $50. dollars Zero dollars. Kinda, not really. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So it is a dashed line because it is less than. Now, let's talk about shading. To know we're going to shade, we're going to graph it and then we're going to pretty much plug in a coordinate and see if it works. Okay? Alright, so let's start by graphing it. What form does this look like? Y equals mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. Slope intercept form. So the easiest way to graph something that's in slope intercept form is to use the intercept as your first coordinate. What's our intercept? Two. 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 Very good. So I'm going to go to the y-axis because it said positive two, so I'm going to go one, two, boom. From there, I'm going to utilize what to find more coordinates? Your rise over one. My rise over one, which is my slope. slope, which is the number in front of the x. You're like, there's not a number there, it's just a negative. What do we know is always there? A one. One. Negative. one. Negative one, which we know is always over? One. One. So we've got our rise over our run. So the negative you can attach to the top or the bottom. Doesn't matter. Okay, so let's try attaching it to the top. So from that coordinate we just plotted, I'm going to go down one, positive one. So down one, over one. Down one, over one. Down one, over one. Now if you just stuck the negative down here, let's say you to put one over negative one. That's fine. You go up one, back one. Up one, back one. Up one, back one. Still the same line, okay? As long as you don't give both of them negatives. That'd be silliness. Okay, so let's make our dashed line. So we know it cannot be on that line. What is the easiest coordinate to plug in to find, the, to find if it works or not? Give you a hint, it rhymes with smorgen. That's correct, the origin. Zero, zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's plug that in. So zero goes in for y is less than negative zero plus two. Okay, don't need that because there's no such thing as negative zero. Try it sometime though. They're like, your mom's like, hey, do you want some money? Yeah, I have negative zero dollars. <laughs> she's like, never mind, you don't, I can't have any money because you're dumb. Okay, <laughs> just kidding, don't say that. And she probably won't call you dumb. So zero is less than two, correct? Yeah. Is zero less than two? Yeah. So does the origin work? Yep. So where am I going to shade? Above or below? Below. Below, because it works. If the origin had not worked, where would I shade? Above. Above! But it, sh it did, so below. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so it, where you shade is solely based on the what point you pick, right? Yep. Okay, just shade. Yeah, and you can pick any coordinate. I could have picked, I, I noticed I walked around, not very many of you guys use the origin. Several of you guys were like 5, 2, 0, 10, 3, 1. Like, that's fine. You can pick any coordinate you want. What, if I pick a coordinate and it goes somewhere on here, is there anywhere if I would have the coordinate where I wouldn't be able to find the answer? On the line. On the line. Because if it's on the line, I don't know if it worked above or below, do I? It's on the line. I know it won't work, but if it's on that dashed line or saw line, whichever, then it won't tell us if we shade above or below because we just like straight at the line. So that's it. I just learned pretty much everything ever. I think we could probably just quit class. Mm -hmm. No, we got more to learn. We got more to learn. Don't forget to like and subscribe.